What is up my crazy subscribers, this is Joe King Jones 84 and hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today people, we're going to keep on talking about Call of Duty World War 2. And also if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, that's going to show me a lot of support and I give thanks to all those people who do that and uh, you know, hopefully you guys stay tuned for the future games because uh, Call of Duty World War 2 is going to be shown here 24 7. So anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about Call of Duty World War II killstreaks. You know, what can we expect? Are uh, there certain killstreaks coming back? Because we all know we have played World at War. And I did. You know, at some point I did because I know people are going to say like, oh no, you started from Modern Warfare 3, you uploaded a lot of Black Ops 2, there was no gameplay about you in Black Ops 1 or before. So, um, off camera, I mean, I didn't record it because one, I didn't have an HDPR back then. And two, I did play it, but only like for a few games, like I did with Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Like Max, before I played Black Ops 1 Max, I only played like around 20 games on Call of Duty 4 and maybe on Modern Warfare 2 also. At the same time, also World at War, I didn't play that much, but I, I do remember some certain things. Uh, World at War, I think I, it only had like around 3 killstreaks, and one of them was the Mortar. I'm pretty sure that one has to come back. I mean, it, they want to make it old school, they gotta put in the Mortar. We cannot miss that mortar, man. And one of the bad things about the mortar, though, it wasn't even that accurate to begin with. But it did have a large explosion radius, so it might be very effective still once that game come out in you know, Call of Duty World War II. War um, another kill streak that I want to talk about, and this one might be a big problem to everybody, because I know we all hated it in, in previous games. It has to be the dogs. The dogs might come back into the freaking series. Which is annoying. To be honest, it has to be one of the most annoying kill streaks of all time. Because I know in Call of Duty Ghost, you couldn't even knife the son of a bitches. Not even in, in uh, also in, in World at War. Those dogs are probably the worst things they ever created because the hit detections on your knives or whatever you're carrying are pretty much difficult. And, and, th and then also, if you go to create a class nowadays, you don't even have a knife. You have to punch down people half of the time. If their health is low or you just sneak up sneaking up to them and troll them like you're gonna have to like punch them instead because once you put the knife down uh, on your on your class it's gonna take up a space and that space must be valuable for like i don't know like a grenade or a flashbang it's just gonna it's it's gonna be quite difficult to stop the dogs if they were to like uh do the, use the point system again on the creator class but uh but yeah like um uh, the dogs it just it's gonna be hard man it's gonna be difficult to stop them again because you know they, they just keep on coming there's like more than 30 dogs in the same map and then uh they're gonna be chasing you down and then uh you, you, and also i do remember uh like in the trailer or in like in a there was there was like a talk with the developers a long time ago they were talking about like how easily you can knife down the dogs and it was so much bullshit because at the same time we tried it in the game like a, a week later and you can't even knife down the freaking kill streak. I, I do remember the third kill streak to get uh, that was like around 600 points or something like that. You can use your own personal dog, and uh, even that dog was OP as hell because it took a while to take down and also to knife it. You will not even be able to kill it. You need like around three knives to kill it. It was quite difficult. So I'm telling you, they do have a bad history with dogs, and just returning it and not having knives as a backup weapon, like. It's going to be difficult to stop, so the dogs one might return back, but I kind of wish it didn't, because <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to create a lot of problems, so that's all the killstreaks I want to talk about today, the mortar, the dogs, and maybe some extra killstreaks around there, the spy planes might be difficult to like, uh, to like kind of make one, because there's no planes back in the day, so how are they going to be using the spy planes, maybe they're just going to call in the radio and just fucking... You know do like a sonar thing or something it's gonna be interesting to see to how how we're gonna have a spy plane going on so that is it people if you guys want to see more call of duty world war 2 talk make sure you subscribe for more and also call of duty world war 2 coming up you know gameplay and stuff like that back in november so subscribe for more guys and i'll see you guys later